Today, you'll learn how to use Mixer to texture your 3D models. If you haven't watched them yet, make sure to watch the previous videos on the Mixer series. To get started, you'll have to go to the Setup tab, and then you'll see under Type, there's Plane. If you want to do it on a 3D model, you'll have to use one of the other options. 3D Asset is one from the Megascans library. Custom Mesh is one that you import. And shader ball is meant for making your own smart materials and previewing on it. So I can select custom mesh. It can import an OBJ or an FBX. It should be noted that your model has to be UV unwrapped to be imported. It also currently doesn't support models that have more than one material on it. So you'll have to remove any extra materials. So I'll just choose the OBJ. You can also set the size to something different here. All right, to get started, we're gonna have to work on our base layer here. This is useful for putting in your big textures. So I will go ahead and put a normal mapping. And as you can see, it's got some little beveled normals. Next, I can add an occlusion, add be an occlusion. And then what we need is material ID. And what material ID does is it allows you to pick a color as a mask for your materials. So you can see the material ID by going through here or by pressing eight on the keyboard. And pressing one will bring you back to PBR. I previously made a video on how to make a material ID texture in Blender, link above. And you can find videos on how to make it in other programs just searching it on YouTube. So we can also set our main color. We'll use uh, almost white and then we'll change it to metal. And then we'll reduce the roughness. Next, we can add a solid layer. And this time I'll go with the kind of orangish metal that it has on certain parts of Luke's lightsaber. Make it metal, reduce the roughness. And this is where we use the material ID mask. You see, you can either hit it here or right click. So I'll just click down here, ID. And if I press eight, you can see that the areas where I want the kind of goldish metal color is on these yellow spots. So I know that if I click yellow, it'll show up only in those spots. Next, maybe I'll add a surface layer for some rust. I already downloaded some. And then maybe I could change the scale on the placement. It uses box projection. Box projection just wraps the textures around the model. If I press M, it'll change the mesh preview from mesh to plane, and you can see here. So it's wrapped onto the 3D model itself. If I changed it to say tiling, it'll get tiled onto the texture itself and not the 3D model. So basically it'll match with a plane, but we want the box projection so that it goes around the 3D model and doesn't have seams. Next, we can go ahead and just Right click, add mass stack, and I can just add a curvature. And then I could choose maybe cavities only. Like the rust is only going to the places where it's more difficult to touch and doesn't get rubbed off. You could also add dirt in there instead. So I also lowered the levels to have it visible. And now I can go ahead and right click, add ID mask. And then if I go to eight, you can see that the metal spots are the red and the yellow. So I can mask that to red and yellow. And that way none of the normals or anything will show up in the next layers. So now we can add another solid layer. This time I'll choose black. And I'll choose not metal. And I'll make it smoother. And then I'll add an ID mask. Press eight to check. And we can see it's this bright blue. Now we got the black parts. I can go ahead and duplicate this layer and I'll change the albedo to red. And I'll check where the red is supposed to be. It's supposed to be here. That's a scion color. So I can choose scion. And the green is supposed to be here. So I'll just duplicate this, this time just by pressing control D and I'll make it green. Then I'll change the mask stack to where it's green, which I remember as it just being bright green. And now we have 
a mostly clean model, but we might want to add some scratches and smudges and stuff all around it. So we can go ahead and add a material. We'll choose imperfection and we might go with scratches. I already have that searched. So I can choose scratch painted metal maybe. And you can see there's scratches on the model now. Could change the scale, but I'll keep it like that for now. Then you can add another one, imperfection, and then maybe grunge. And I can add some grungy surface to it. And this just adds some dirt. I think maybe the roughness could be turned down a little bit on them so that it doesn't appear as harsh. Maybe like that. And now we have our lightsaber done. But we can also use other options such as the smart materials. Now if I add a smart material, I can just remove that search and choose smart material. And you have some already pre-installed. So I could add maybe this steel oxidized one. And you'll see that we get a rusty material with the edges where it's most likely to get scratched off is more metal and not rusty. And what a smart material is, is it's just a group of layers that are preset. So you can create your own smart material too by going and making a group. So I could say maybe take this golden one and this rust and maybe these surfaces, press control G and they become added to a group. And then we can right click and export a smart material. Now the material IDs aren't allowed so you'll have to remove them. And on this, and then you can hit done. You can call it rusty gold maybe. And export. And then if you were to add a surface layer, you could go to smart material and you'll have the rusty gold here. And it can just slap that on top of everything else and you have your smart material. Thanks for watching. If the next video is out, it'll be on the screen right now. And Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to see more videos on 3D modeling and texturing. Thank you.